Thank you very much guys for having me. My name is Yair Levin. I moved here a year ago from Israel. And when I moved here, I wanted to stay in touch with my friends and family back home and to assimilate in this great new country. So I'd log into social media to see what my friends and family and colleagues were up to. And this is what I'd get. Pictures of food, pictures of cats, <laughs> selfies. Here I was trying to find out what are the important life events that my friends and family were going through in order for me to be able to build relationships and move on with my day. And the amount of crap on it was really hard for me to maintain. So I decided to create Slim. Slim is a tool that allows us to never miss out an important update ever again. What you do is you download our app from the App Store, you connect your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and through natural language processing, we're able to surface all the important events in your friend's lives. This could be something like a birth of a child, an anniversary, someone quitting to smoke, or someone running a marathon. So, like I said, through natural language processing, we're able to analyze and pick up events that no other, other, none of the other social networks are able to do. What we do is we take the raw data from social media, the status updates, the posts, the comments, we analyze it where we find the most important events, we clean them from mistakes, and we categorize them accordingly. So what you're left with is all of your friends' most important events. So in the past two months since we've launched, <coughs> um, we've got almost 14,000 users. This is currently how our product looks. Um, not only can you comment or like on Facebook, you can also have real life communication, like calling a person, sending him a text message, or even buying him a physical gift. Personalized alerts is a great feature for busy professionals. So let's say you're a real estate agent and you wanna know what's happening within your network. If someone's gonna mention that he's looking to buy an apartment, Slim will notify you. The same goes with a car salesman, an investment banker that wants to know when people are starting around, or any other keyword that you might be interested in, Slim will able to surface it and enable you to reach out to that person, close a deal, build a relationship, or become a thought leader on that topic. It also enables you to post to all your networks all at once, so you never have to leave the app. Um, so like I said, since we've launched uh, three months ago, we launched an MVP, and in the past two weeks, we've launched our second version. Uh, we doubled our users in the past uh, week and a half, and we're having some awesome conversion. Um, we're seeing that users are coming back to the app. 90% of the users came back to the app within the first week, and they continue to come back. Not only do they come back, but they spend four and a half minutes on the app, which is double our category. Um, we got some awesome press as well, but... So the market that we're tackling currently is we have 25 million busy professionals in the US alone that could use alerts to look for warm leads. Now this is a feature that no one else allows us to do, to curate our own personal network and not the public network to see when there, there are optional leads. Besides that, we have 10 billion people that are using Path and Instagram as their main social media site and what happens is they need a tool to enable them to know when on their other networks people are having important updates. I'll move on from this slide. The business model is through, through the past three months we've discovered over one million important life events. So how much would a bank be willing to pay me to let them know when a person got an ad, uh, engaged? They can create some kind of advertisement in the right second, in the right spot, allowing him to take a loan or so forth. So retargeted advertising is the first one. The second one being a premium account, um, giving that user unlimited real-time uh, alerts um, for $10 a month. We have an experienced team. I'm Yair Levin, the founder and CEO. I was a tank commander and managed marketing departments. Yassin Hadiawi, a CTO, 15 years of experience uh, managing scalable systems. And Hamza Asawi, director of engineering. I'm going to leave that slide up. Okay, I'm going to leave this slide up. Good. All right. Good. Questions from the panel? We got a question. H how does Facebook try to do this right now? Facebook is dealing with a lot of posts and a lot of things. Um, what they, they do is they have. This, right? They don't want to do this because they want to show you more and they want to show you 15 second advertisements and they want to give you more and more and more and we're trying to give you that less. I have 600 friends on Facebook, 500 on LinkedIn and almost 1,000 on Twitter. It takes me two minutes a day to check my social networks and know that I didn't miss out on anything. 
So, so do you see this as more, this is in a play for the, just the individual user, uh, which is for time, or is this aimed at, I mean, you mentioned the sales, the capabilities, I mean, the, the pay model seems like something that's aimed at, uh, you know, sales people who are going to take the time to set up the is that? Repeat the question, please, Jerry. Okay, so he was asking if we're focusing on consumer or on businesses, if I'm simplifying the question. So currently we're a consumer product with a, with a business source. Uh, recently we were able to switch Century 21, which is one of the largest uh, real estate agencies in the United States, to shift all their users, all their uh, real estate agents to start using Slim in order to get those business features. However, we are a consumer product and that's what we're focusing on. If later on we'll decide to integrate with your CRM to give you some mass knowledge, you know, we're not sure, but we're f currently focused on users. Paul, oh, so what is your conversion rate to the premium? What do you expect that to be? Repeat um, the question. What is the conversion rate from the premium users from the regular users? First of all, I'm not sure that the premium users are where our main focus is going to be because I think that the retargeted advertising is where the real money for us is going to be. Um, we're assuming it to be somewhere between 2 to 4% conversion for premium model. Any other questions? So, let me make sure I understand what you just said. You uh, said you use the mic, Paul. Yeah. So you said targeted advertising is where you're going to make your real money? Retargeted, yeah. Retargeted advertising, okay. Which kind of goes against what you said a few minutes ago, and that if you look at what's going on on Facebook today, they're jamming ads everywhere, right? Yeah. And people are not happy about that. All you have to do is listen to the comments and see what's going on, right? I hate so why would you be targeting ads in the middle of what you're doing? So retargeted advertising is not on my site. It means that once you left my, my website, you're going to go and browse, and then you're going to see Bank of America commercial, because I'm not actually doing that advertisement. I hate advertising. I'm sure you all do. Okay. Any other questions? If not, we'll switch to feedback, and we'll start with Sean and work our way around. Um, so yeah, from a consumer's perspective, uh, you know, well, actually, I guess it depends. I, I, I guess I am, I'm trying to figure out who you're focused on here. It seems like you're trying to do a lot of things for a lot of people. So if you do focus on real estate, I think that makes sense. And you could probably build a great product for real estate because by nature, that industry requires you to act fast because a lead can go away pretty quickly. And I like the idea of selling to Century 21. I, I, I guess my challenge is, um, you know, can you focus the business around certain buyers and build a big business, or are you trying to be a completely horizontal play for a myriad of different industries? So real estate makes a lot of sense. Um, I like the fact that it's a mobile solution, and it allows people to react quickly to these life events as they're happening. Now, Frivolity is good, right? Um, I, I think that the cats and the funny pictures is just our way of telling jokes on social networks, right? And all of our conversations every day with our friends are mostly lighthearted, you know, filled with jokes. If every conversation that I had with Sean was like a very <laughs> deep philosoph philosophical uh, conversation, it would be pretty boring. Um, or, or it'd be like, uh, you know, we, we just start crying on each other's shoulders, right? So I actually don't buy that this is something that um, consumers need. So I think you're right that companies want to find out when important life events are happening. And we are volunteering that on social networks. And if we give you permission to... Um, to crawl our, our feeds, you can identify those. But I don't think that the right strategy is to have your own property to try to, um, to, tr to, try to identify those important events, you know, where we're, we're, actually, um, we're actually interacting with you through your app. But I think you'll make a lot more money by identifying those important events um, for big brands, but that's, that's a whole other discussion. You know, that gets into this like agency model, which is also very challenging. So there's a, f a f couple of things that I, can't, I don't quite buy, but I do buy that you that the, that, that the brands, the big companies want to know when this happens. But I'm not sure that you'll get enough customers. Else, um, 
Yeah, I think the cust- the consumer proposition is, is probably weak, uh, but whatever 25% you were showing, uh, which was on the business lead side, I think if, you know, let, let's say you're sort of translating this commodity intelligence that just shows up in, 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 in feeds across social networks and turning into what I call as business intelligence uh, and, and sell that as a lead, uh, you know, maybe you will turn what in, into what Alan was trying to say here. Uh, and, and maybe that's where I actually see money uh, more than retargeting. I think that's pretty natural that you, you your first thought is, yeah, you know, this is a retargeted advertisement, uh, you know, vehicle and, and I'm going to make tons of money there. But I don't think that's interesting. I think it's the other part that, that was interesting to me. Uh, it it sounds interesting, uh, but it, it's mostly not where you're trying to go. It's, it's, it's the other thing uh, on, on the business lead side, which I feel uh, maybe there's something there. Okay. Paul, please. So uh, I kind of build off of what uh, the other panelists have said. First of all, I think social media is just that social. And if you take out all the cats and food and so forth, uh, it's not very social anymore. Uh, that's the first thing. I think the opportunity exists uh, in business. If you if you want a, uh, a little advice from the old guy, follow the money. And the money exists in the enterprise. And what I would suggest you do with this, if you've got this capability, is many businesses want to know what's being said about their business on social media. They don't have a good way to do that today. They don't have a good way to filter through that and find that out. So if you could adapt this, this product to deliver that and deliver that to, uh, a CIO and deliver that to the people who are responsible for business and do it in such a way that you're, you're not violating their security rules and all that. I think you've got a real problem. Hey. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a little bit of a broken record, but I'll phrase it slightly differently. The point of Facebook is to waste time. I mean, the, the point of Instagram is to waste time. Uh, so, you know, I'm not really interested in something that's going to make my Facebook browsing that much more efficient. Like, I'm trying to you know, give my brain like a five minute vacation, not just immediately download all the important things that are happening. I mean, um, also I think Facebook, you know, as an example, does a pretty good job of identifying the important events. It tells me whose birthday it is. If somebody has a baby, everyone's gonna talk about the baby and I'll see pictures of the baby. So I, I, I do think that uh, to echo what these guys have said, that there's a, an opportunity in the social media analytic B2B type space. Um, I, I wouldn't, uh, and I think that would, that would be a, a better focus, and it's a much clearer path to monetization. Um, I don't think individuals are going to pay $10 a month to streamline their social media experiences. Okay, thank you very much.